Okay, next I'd like to call on somebody from creating an inclusive REU and a welcoming workplace climate. Thank you. So I'm a newbie to this group, and so I was asked to provide my um, take on this issue. And so, first of all, I was um, pretty much amazed at all the things that I hadn't thought about before coming here. And, and it really has awakened me to a lot of new things that I need to consider. Um, so the exercise we did in the group was, how do you describe yourself, and how would you have describe someone else, how, else oh, how uh, someone else would describe you and, and that was very informative in that we all have an opinion and, an, and a view of ourselves and other people and, and we, all have a, we all have an identity and, and it may not be apparent to everyone and the, the, uh, the same. So um, we need to be very aware of that and then we went through the whole process of the RU from, from advertising and recruiting to accepting to bringing them here and, and then all at all the different stages how we have to be aware of, of inclusiveness and that was again very um, eye-opening and and just uh, she um, Carolyn sorry is going to provide a little more details but I just wanted to say um, for me I, I was taking some notes and I just said that that, that on the application form it just male female or I describe my gender differently and so that's a good wording and then another thing is how would you like to be housed in terms of dealing with with housing and and so that we just had a lot of good suggestions on how you ask questions without um, what's the, with, Without assuming any bias, yes, yes. So and and, and so it was very very useful. Thank you very much, Lisa. Yes, <laughs> thanks, Lisa. It was good to get some somebody's you know perspective who was actually there. It's helpful for me. I think a lot of what we talked about, as say, was identity and, and the many many different identities that exist in students who are who are coming to your REU. And it's not just the obvious ones such as you know race, gender identity, um, ability, um, sexual orientation, but it's also things like learning styles. You know, and, and how, how students learn and how they interact with other people. You know, are they extroverts? Are they introverts? Are they going to be okay playing, you know, a, 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 an icebreaker game, or are they going to want to hide in a corner? You know, there's all these things to think about. So we went through all the different types of identity that exist, and you can see, you know, on our um, Google document, you'll see a huge list of different identities that students might have when they're coming. Many visible, many, many invisible, uh, and we talked about. Um, like as Lisa said, all the many um, places during the process where you have to be thinking about being fully inclusive. You know, things like religion. Ramadan at the moment is falling in the middle of summer, so it's very likely that your Muslim students may be fasting during the summer. Having a conversation with mentors about the fact that come 3 p.m. those students probably won't be firing on all cylinders is a really important conversation to have. Um, you know, for goodness sake, don't you know put pizza in front of them. You know, at five o'clock when the sun hasn't gone down yet. That's just cruel. So you know, thinking about these things and thinking about the identities of students. We talked a lot about um, how to work with trans students, transgender students, to make sure that they feel supported and fully included and to make sure that they are comfortable in your REU. Um, and we talked a lot about accessibility, you know, making sure that even thinking about your website, is your website screen readable? Um, you know, or, or can uh, students with visual impairment not actually read your website? Um, especially if you're using Drupal, as it's an issue in Drupal for sure, or has been up till now. I'm not sure if they've fixed it in the most recent version. Um, yeah, but then we also talked about things like tragedies. You know, what happens when something like Orlando, the Orlando shooting, happens during your REU? And one of the things we really put forward to people is that students are humans. They are entire people who are not just here for the science. They need holistic support. And it's not okay to just ignore that part of them. You know, when students are dealing with issues such as Black Lives Matter, when they're dealing with issues such as the Orlando Pulse shooting and all these things, they are being affected by this. And it's important that you have these conversations and it's important that you have thought about these conversations. You know, if something like Orlando happens again, what are you gonna to say to your students over the summer? What is that email you're gonna send out? Don't wait until it happens to plan what you're gonna say. 
Because at that point you're scrambling and you may say it wrong. <laughs> okay? Plan in advance. Make sure you have a plan for when this happens. Source did a wonderful job. They brought the students together. Um, for all of our internship um, groups here at NCAR, we sent an email out to them offering support for LGBT students, for Latino students, and also, Mus also for Muslim students who were being targeted as um, you know, people who had carried out this atrocity. You know, and that's not okay. And so there was a lot going on there um, and ways in which you can support them. But um, you know, don't use your discomfort with talking about things like race and LGBT issues. Don't let that stand in the way of saying something. Uh, we have huge amounts of resources, um, yeah, partly to educate yourselves and partly to use in educating others uh, on the Google Docs, Docs so please um, take a time and take a look at them. Yeah, it's a good question. So, did everybody hear the question? Yeah, okay. So, it's a good question. Um, I think that part of it is having your finger on the pulse of what is going on. I mean, there were two things that I saw over the summer that we really could have responded to, and that was Orlando and issues around Black Lives Matter. Um, we sent an official email about Orlando because it was so high profile, but we had individual conversations about the shootings um, of Philando Castile and uh, Alton Sterling. Uh, and we, we made sure we checked in with our students uh, about those things and we sent emails to our mentors to be aware that students may be affected by that. I think a lot of it is actually just responding to the students and making sure that you leave open communication for them, um, you know, and, and having those, having the open door policy and letting them know at the beginning of the summer, you have this open door and you're absolutely willing to talk about anything that you want to talk about, that they want to talk about and making sure that that, that door is open. And, uh, and I, I don't have, I don't also have the right thing to say, but I, I know that Beck went into her workshop and said, I, I've been thinking all weekend what to say. It was, I think, after uh, the Dallas thing. And she said, and I, I don't know what to say, and I'm, I'm just so sorry. And then uh, at another point in the summer, uh, Rebecca sent out an email that was saying, you know, acknowledging what was, the, was things were difficult in the news and, you know, that it was very sad and that we're here for you. Please let us know if you need to talk. You know, I don't think you need to go into the issue per se at the time. Like it's it's really sh showing that you're aware of it and it's not being ignored, and that you're you're there to support. Does anybody else have a thought or comment on that? Mm -hmm. Uh, just to expand on that a little bit, I think it's important to realize that if you ignore the point um, when these things happen, if students are struggling with it, it makes them feel like their feelings are invalid and that makes them feel even more excluded. So even if you're, we, we talked a lot about what happens if you don't know what to say, that's okay, but to say something acknowledges that it's okay if the students are struggling with that particular event. Right, and remember Melissa talking this morning about how she felt like, oh, I don't, you know, people don't look like me, I don't feel, so, you know, if they're ignoring something that's like super fundamental to you, that's really hard. So, thanks. <laughs>